What's up, guys? Listen, if, if, if there's any frauds in this community on YouTube, I, I can promise you that people like me who are trusted by the spirit realm to give actual messages, we're going to expose you. And it's not going to be the kind of thing where we put it on our list as things to do. It's going to be random the way that it comes out because the spirit realm is going to want to show that the people exposing it are not attacking anybody. They're not jealous of anybody because that'll be the first thing that these, these people think. You're jealous of me. And then they can't really say it out loud, especially if there's a certain person that it is because then people are going to be like, why the fuck would this person be jealous of you? You know, it, it's just stop being frauds. I mean, you've probably dealt with a lot of liars and fakes and phonies and frauds in your life. And I'm pretty sure that you didn't like dealing with them. So why would you want to become that? And then and then claim to be helping people. You're not helping anybody when you're a fraud. Let's just get into whatever messages this is. I fucking can't stand liars and frauds. And I will make it my mission, if I have to, though, to expose whatever fraud and liar comes across my path. So if you are a reader and you feel like you're being exposed by my spirit guides through me, then you must have said something about me or thought something about me because you put yourself somehow in my energy. That's, that's how it works. Take me out. I want you to take me out. Maybe that's, you know, people like me are here to take you out. Because I'm not going nowhere. Judgment. Look at that. Judgment. Let's see who's under judgment. I love you guys. Only high vibrational and high functioning spirits are allowed to come through there to give my messages, please. Uh, thank you, ancestors and guides. You've always rocked with, rock with me. Tell me about this. Who's under judgment? A Libra is definitely under judgment, but this is also just double judgment to me, even if it's not a Libra. <sighs> Clarify this. Justice. Justice and judgment is here. Somebody's look, I got Libra and Scorpio, but uh, I'm going to be honest. Somebody's judgment is going to be their last breath. I don't know what this person did or if this is a group of people, but uh, let's find out. Take me out. This could be people because that's playing. Take me out. These could be people who were trying to take you out. Their judgment is going to be being taken out. Let's see. I know I won't be leaving here. Yeah, you're not going nowhere. You're not leaving here until the universe says that you're done whatever it is that you needed to do. Acquisition. What is the actual meaning of acquisition? I've never actually used that word. An asset or object bought or obtained what's a synonym for it purchase investment okay thank you spirit guide so whoever was investing in your ending i guess they're realizing that they just invested in theirs this could go multiple ways let's see can i get one card for this please spirit conflict and defeat yes so anybody who was trying to defeat you is defeated anybody trying to bring conflict to you I mean, look, that's on the bottom. And look how red that shit is. They're angry. These people are angry that they can't defeat you. Why are you angry that you can't do to somebody else what you would not appreciate being done to you? Suddenly what? Suddenly salad? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Suddenly salad. Suddenly what? Sudden death? This could be sudden deaths happening. Tell me about this suddenly. Suddenly, what? Suddenly now these people want to apologize to you guys now? Because they realize that they can't defeat you. They're looking at something from a different perspective. Now they're sorry. Now they're sorry because I feel like these people are getting sick. There's things dying around them. People dying around them. Their whole life is being just dismantled. And now they're sorry. Suddenly now these people want to apologize. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a fucking bitch? Four, four, four. <sighs> now they see you as an asset. Tried to sue you. Hmm?
Let me get my let me get my pendulum. I gotta ask something here. Mm. For some of you, this is uh, somebody that you were divorcing and they wanted to sue you. How you would have handled this, this situation that you're dealing with with a lot of these people, um, I, I just feel like you would have completely handled this situation um, like in an upstanding way. But this is why you're so protected because the world needs people like you. I command a true spirit, please. I command, let me, let me just get my vibe up a little bit. Some Miyagi shit. Wax on, wax off, bitches. Curve. Suddenly, curve. Now suddenly somebody wants to what? Now they want to turn around. Curve. Now they want to, they, they want to do things differently. I command, I command the truth, spirit. Today is October 12th, 2022. Thank you. Can you clear that for me, please? Now, these people who try to defeat and sue somebody now want to apologize to this person. Can you clear that, please, Spirit? Is this a Libra and a Scorpio for somebody here? So for someone in particular, you had a Libra and a Scorpio. I don't even know if you knew these people were trying to sue you. Either way, now they want to apologize for trying to sue you. I'm guessing it's because they're losing everything. There's defeat here. That's it. Defeat. This, this dude's falling down the stairs. Let's get letters. Don't you have a friend? Yeah. I, 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 do you guys have any friends? Because I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I, I, got, I got my spirit realm friends. And I got my dude in myself. Like, I don't really have many other people in my life. But I'm going to be honest. Uh, and when I say I'm going to be honest, I actually mean it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have much stress, though. The less people in my life. I don't need people who just, he goes, just give you yes answers. I don't want people who just yes me to death. I would rather somebody tell me the truth, even if it hurts. Because that's what a real friend does. What can you tell me about uh, these people, Z, who wanted to sue somebody? Z, S. Hiding spot. Somebody could be trying to hide out or hide something. ZSW. ZFW Swift Acquisition. That's uh that's odd. What is Zwift? That's just odd that that's on there, right? Z S W. <sighs> Zoological Society, huh? Animals. Um let's look at the urban dictionary. Nothing. So it could be like zoo, the zoology thing tried to sue you. I command, I command the truth, please. Is it the zoology thing? Are you saying these people are like animals? Like they're animals. They belong in a cage. Dumpster diving in your own home. So these people could actually be losing things that bad where they look bar. Arrangement and bar. Why is that here? Uh, these people who, who really like did the most to try to destroy you. Some of these people may actually have to eat out of a trash can. It's good. They're going to keep losing and losing until they understand. And, and not so that they just go, okay, I understand because, you know, the universe knows if you're being legit. So for the for you guys listening who think that you can just go, all right, I see what I did wrong, universe. No, 
The universe knows that you're bullshitting. It knows everything 10 minutes exactly. So let's see what the arrangement at the bar is. What's the arrangement? Is there some kind of arrangement that somebody made with somebody to try to do this? Judgment. This also could be the lawyer with the bar. Tell me about this judgment. Judgment came out twice now. You got justice and judgment and the judgment on the app. Yeah, there's an older man, possibly a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who's under judgment. Or this is just an older man or both of these people could be older men. This could be the lawyer as well. Tell me who tried to sue. I mean, I guess we know that it's because it's going to be different for all of you. Tell me this who tried to sue you. They tried to sue you, but now now they're now they want to apologize or they're sorry that they even got themselves caught up in this arrangement and bar. There may somebody may get disbarred because of some of the shit that they were getting into here. Knight of Swords trying to sabotage you. They wanted to shut you up or they wanted to stop something that you were doing, so they thought that they were gonna fucking sue you. Now something's going back and this person could be getting sued because the Knight of Swords facing the card like this. To me, is like now something's coming back, and now this person could literally be getting sued by somebody. Who are they getting sued by? They're sorry because now who are they getting sued by now? This person that was trying to sue uh, somebody that's young. I also feel like this person was constantly with the Knight of Wines, trying to trying to find ways to sue you. But, I mean, if it hasn't happened yet, then I guess... And then they were possibly going to manipulate a situation. So, because you weren't saying the types of words that, that could get you um, in trouble legally with whatever this is that you do that they were trying to sue you for. They were possibly trying now to, like, create something to make it look like you said something or these people are just in such regret i mean i can feel it i can feel it like i can't even believe i wasted all this time my money these people came out of the pocket trying to sue you represent yeah somebody thought that they were going to represent whoever was representing this person represent chosen one represent what's up chosen one so somebody, you represent the chosen ones. Somebody thought, I've seen the community as well, tried to, to kill you. Your community could be finding out that this person who tried to sue you actually tried to kill you as well. For some of you, some, your whole community was involved in trying to off you. Trying is the key word. Trying. Quality, certainty, roofing products. So that could mean something. Somebody could be a roofer. That could, that could be confirmation. Rewind. Rewind what? This could be a video. This could be a tape. This could be something. Like I said, they were trying to create something. And they could have possibly been doing all kinds of video editing. Tell me more. Rewind. No worries. I'll put myself on a pedestal. Is that you? You could. It depends on what energy you're in, right? There's people who put themselves on a pedestal and they have no business being on one. And a drunk ass dad. Put that how it fits. He needed money, so he put her on the street. Your dad could have put you on the street. I mean, I don't know if your dad was a drunk, but I feel like for somebody here, your dad could have put you on the street. Like this could go with that the message I just did, where the guy at the end, the King of Swords, where this this dude should have like protected you, and instead they kicked you out, or they told you you couldn't come home, or something. Fourteen all, what a, what a disgrace! Positive movement forward. So no worries. From this point on, I don't need anybody to tell me how great I am. In fact, I don't even want to hear it from you guys. I only care about what I feel about myself. I care about what my spirit team feels about me. There's very few people on this planet that are going to make me feel some kind of way because of what they see me as. Because, of course, when you're dealing with jealousy and envy and, and toxic competitive behavior, they're always going to see you as what they want you to be. The wrong way. Yeah, somebody went about this the wrong way. 
Let me get my other meat. They met at a bar. Happy and meat. Happy meat. Meat. Let me get this other deck. Sorry, guys. This is starting off a little slow, but... You know, what else do we got to do, right? If you're watching this, I'm guessing that that's just what you saved your time for. <laughs> I love you guys. Family. I really hope that your family wasn't trying to sue you guys. I really hope it wasn't your family, man. Oh, uh, fuck. I'll be so pissed off if it's your family. How do you sue your own family? Wouldn't it be some bullshit where if you were like exposing family members for taking money that belonged to you and then they, they stupidly tried to sue you for exposing them, only bringing further attention to the fact that they took your money? And it's like, whoa, whoa, what I'm seeing here for whoever winds up finding this shit out, uh, this person actually could sue you in a heartbeat. That's probably what's going Oh, that's why they want to apologize. Hold on a second. Are these people that tried to sue you realizing that you actually could sue them? I command the truth, spirit. I command the truth. This would be super interesting here. Are there people that tried to sue somebody that now they're realizing this person actually has the ability to sue them for what they did? <laughs> That's why they're sorry. I know that most people aren't sorry. They're not sorry unless they get caught. You think when whenever you think about these things, think about the ratio we talked about from empath to narcissist on this planet. So when you hear Tower Raider saying that somebody wants to heal something with you and they want to apologize, like you know, I, I laugh at that shit. I really do, and, and I laugh at anybody coming towards you with any kind of shit other than gang stalking, especially if you are an awakened empath. Most people aren't coming towards you uh, to do anything good. Real rat. What can you tell me? What more can you tell me, please? It's illegitimate. There could be something coming out about a child. Illegitimate. You could be an illegitimate child, actually, and you could be finding this out. Meet. So they may want to, somebody may want to meet up with you, actually. Judge. Yeah, I feel like something happened, and this judge is like, yo, what the fuck is going on? The judgment, the judgment, and the judge. There's definitely a judge involved in some shit here. I don't know if this judge was a dirty judge that was behind a lot of the shit that was going on with these people who were trying to sue you for no fucking reason. But for some, for somebody here, there's a judge who's realizing, oh, so this person actually can sue you without trying to create some shit. That's why these people are sorry or whoever. There could be one person or multiple people. A Pisces specifically, yes. Hmm. There's definitely a Pisces being judged, first of all. Tell me about this moon and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a Pisces. Somebody's experiencing heavy judgment here. Because they were plotting on ending you constantly i feel like this person was either a part of it or they were constantly having people do this shit let's get some letters again meet somebody may want to say that they want to meet with you there could be somebody saying that they want to make something right with you but it's only it's only to it's only to try to try to do something dirty to you again. P. P. I. Private investigator. Every time I see that, it's private investigator. But if G comes out, I'm, I'm done. P. I. Z. I thought pig was going to come out. Schedule. Meet and schedule. I feel like somebody's going to want to say that they want to meet with you. They want to meet with you, but I, I wouldn't trust it. Piss, marijuana, pot, reefer. I command the true spirit, please, because there's a few of them I want to see. Is that what this is? Pot, reefer? Is somebody, can you, I command the truth. Can you clear that? Is somebody going to say that they want to come smoke with somebody? Like, let's just smoke and hash things out and this out or the other, but it, can you clear that, please? I command the truth. Should they should they trust this? Should they trust this? No. So especially either you are a Pisces or there is a Pisces.
dementia. This person could be experiencing bouts of dementia, whoever this Pisces is. Heat. Yeah, they got the heat on them. Schedule and heat. I mean, that could be multiple things. Schedule and heat. They, they could, damn, schedule and heat. That could literally be like um, somebody could be scheduling something to get you set up with heat. Because I'm thinking cops with the heat. And our organization. So this person could definitely be part of that organization that you're, you're taking down. Let me see something here. Expansion. Expansion. Heat and expansion. So the heat and expansion, I feel like it's getting real hot. Like, like, uh... Heat and expansion is what I'm picking up for what we're talking about is like somebody's about to explode or they can't take it anymore. Like they, they, are they still trying to like, tell me they're still trying to take you out when they know that they can't. What, what, else, what is this? What, what's happening? Thief. Yes. Don't trust this person. Whoever this fucking Pisces is, this person, look, they're going to take a shot and they're going to lose. Isn't going according to plan. Yeah, something's not going according to plan. So now they're going to set up something. They're going to set something up. But I feel like they're going to come in and say, like, let's smoke. Yo, man, we need a, we need be smoking that piz. That's what it says here. Tell me about this fucking thief, please. This thief. Karma. Yeah, judgment. This person. I feel like they think that they're going to offset their judgment or offset their karma. What, by, by doing some more dirty shit? This person, this thief, this Pisces for somebody is literally experiencing a lot of fucking karma and judgment. I think that you actually, look, there it is again, Pisces. Why? And a Leo. And a Leo. There's a Pisces and a Leo. I feel, I feel like these two work together. This person, so there could be somebody that wants to do this for a Leo. There may be somebody that's going to reach out to you and they're going to say something like, let's just smoke or tell me what happened. Like, But there's something else. There's ulterior motive here. They want to get even. They're, they're being sent to you to get even for a Leo. Or this is past. Sketchy, he just said. Yeah, this shit's sketchy. I feel like you know this already that this person or these people are sketchy. Uh, I, I just I don't see you I don't see you falling for it. But let's get some more shit anyway here. This could be the person that got exposed for being a thief when they tried to sue you as well. A Leo. There's some shit. There's some shit uh, getting balanced out with a Leo. I speak about people doing spell work, and I'm the one that's actually doing it. Leo. Tell me more. Facial features changing. Evil. Evil is manifesting on somebody. Is it the Leo? Does this person show their face anymore? And definitely this Pisces. There's definitely a Pisces. It could be both of these people. There could be a Leo and a Pisces that work together to do dirty shit. And both of their fucking facial features are changing. Tell me about this. Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's like... Mm -hmm. Constantly doing spell work, though. And I feel like this whoever this person is, I got Leo is here as the major. This person is experiencing karma because they probably have a platform. This could be a Leo that has a platform where they talk about people doing spell work, Knight of Wands constantly. That's all they talk about. This could be somebody who spends their entire time talking, talking about people doing fucking spell work. Be wary. Usually those are the ones that do it. I do not talk about it unless it comes out and it's right in front of my face because I'm just tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of hearing about it. Tell me more about this, please. Poverty spells, death spells, they could talk about this often. They could talk about poverty spells. They could talk about death spells. But they do it. I know it's popular for a while. So maybe that's what they're saying. Like, So the thing with the spell work with the tower community was popular for a while. 
but I just feel like people are tired of hearing about it. You know, there's so much, there's so many other factors to energy manipulation and spell work and black magic than people just like getting your hair and your personal effects. It's any kind of manipulation of anybody's energy. Um, even if you manipulate somebody into doing something that they don't want to do, that's technically considered black magic. Um, oh, 11, 11 it is. I don't know if you can see it. Damn. What is up with that? This is a mistake, she just said. 11, 11. Yeah, this was a big mistake. Oh. Oh. Oh, R. Hold on a second. O R D. O R D. Ordinary obsessive rent disorder. Someone who is obsessed with rent. They know every word to every song. Rent? Rent disorder? Obsessive rent disorder? Hold on a second. It's about the play rent. I command the true spirit. Is that what this is? No, maybe that fell on the floor and I'm supposed to get another letter. I was going to say, that just don't make any sense. I don't like to just force shit. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. So no one can see these scars. Yeah, this person, whoever this person is that talks about people doing spell work, but they're actually doing it. O R N. Uh, they have a lot of scar. They have a lot of healing to do. Anybody who does that shit, especially like dark magic, death spells, and poverty spells, like why would you want somebody else to die? Why would you want somebody else to to lose? That person could very well be the only person in your life that would help you if they had things. Like why would you want that person to be gone? There's something seriously wrong with you. Sometimes it don't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Um, oh, really now? A sarcastic response. Oh, really now? Okay. Yeah, really, bitch. So whoever this, this Leo is, I got Leo and I have Scorpio. They could have both of these signs highly aspected in their chart. Yes, really. We're talking to you. I feel like a lot of us know who that is. I'm going to put this away and get another message. I'd like to get a few different messages. So we got somebody that tried to sue you, that can't sue you, and now they're sorry because I honestly think that you may be suing this person. Plot twist. It usually is. You're going to listen to me, like it or not. Yep. Mm, that could be the judge talking to somebody. This could even be the lawyer saying to the person, like, you better fucking apologize. You better do something to make this right. Because we didn't, I didn't know that you did this, or I had no idea. But something came out where somebody, they can't even think about suing you. Heart chakra. I mean, this person that talks about people doing spell work could be doing heart chakra. <sighs> Discontent and boredom. Yeah. So when they're done, when they're bored, when this person, whoever this idiot is that does spell work, when they're bored, they do heart chakra four and four. 44 can mean something. This person needs to take a rest with the spell work because I honestly think it could be coming back to affect their heart. Yeah, I just saw that the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. It's a karmic tarot reader. I already knew that. Here we go again with you, Tree. All right, tell me more about this person that when they're when they're they're heartbroken, they need to heal their heart because when they're discontent or they're bored, they do fucked up shit. Yeah, they, they get all kinds of willy-nilly and then they got all these like weird thoughts in their head. Who's this now? King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So when this person's bored, what? What? What do they do when they're bored? Divorce. Somebody could be getting divorced because they're, they're bored with who they're with. They think of another opportunity. Yeah, but in this, in this energy, they think of what opportunity can I get? When they're bored, they could also just knock people up. This could definitely be somebody where it's like, oh, I'm bored. I'm just going to go bang this one. This one, can I, this person could have at least like three or four children. 
that they don't take care of. But this is definitely somebody when they don't have anything to do, they always have to look for a new opportunity. So they look for a new partner. To cheat, steal. Who can I move in on or move in with? Whose life can I turn upside down? Yeah, they keep talking about divorce attorneys. So this could be somebody that's going through a divorce and they're still on the pre they're still looking. This could be somebody from your past. This could just be confirmation about what's going on with this person. For some of you, you're experiencing this right now. Um, where there's somebody that you were dealing with. Yeah. They lie. They're a liar. I think this person's too young to be getting a divorce. Like, I just don't feel like this person was married very long. Somebody's also bored in their relationship, and they're watching you and yours with the Page of Swords and the Lovers. There's a King of Cups energy who is so, like, over whoever they're with. So dark. They're so over whoever they're with, and I feel like they're watching you, or they're thinking about you. Smear campaign. This is what someone does when they have nothing else to do. So, okay, uh, no work today. Um, no achievements today. No recognition today. No positive thinking today. When I'm bored and I have nothing else to do, and I'm just sitting here outside, like, well, I mean, I guess what I'll do is I'll lie on somebody. This is a very deranged, sick person. This person has no heart. That's why the heart chakra is here. This person doesn't know how to love. There's just nothing but green here in both of these cards. That's all they care about is money. And if they get paid to fuck somebody's reputation up, they will do it. A monetary offset, right? They only care about things for monetary reasons. They, don't have, they have no heart, this person. Everything is, what can you do for me? What have you done for me lately? Taking accountability. They're, they're, I'm guessing that they're being forced to take accountability here. Why are they being forced to take accountability? They could be locked up. Uh, I, I, you know, it was just put on my dome piece when I put that that uh, post on my community board. I said, "Divine Feminine." There's a dude who actually was so was like priding himself that he was going to destroy you. And I said, "And this motherfucker's in prison." Hmm? Enough said. This could be that person. Tell me about this uh, taking accountability for the smear campaign. That they started on you. Yeah, because it's exposed. They could have this could be a Leo and a Taurus that they did this to. This person, you could be a Leo or a Taurus or this. But they did a smear campaign on a sun and a hierophant energy, nevertheless. This is somebody who doesn't have a bad reputation. This is somebody that people admire, they look up to. If they need advice on something, this is the one that they call. This is the one. This is the light in people's lives with the sun card. This person is successful. This person is grounded, regardless of whether it's a Taurus or a Leo. This person actually makes a difference in this world. They're here to help change this world. And somebody literally tried smearing the name of this person. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could be you. Doesn't have to be, though. Shit's being balanced out here. I feel like somebody thought that they were going to do this on their own or I'll get you back and I don't even know what started this. What started this with you? I guess it's going to be different for all of you. They lied on you too. You definitely could be a Taurus and a Leo that are together. If you're not a Taurus and a Leo and you're together with somebody, this is like an ex of yours or something like that, then they talk shit. He talks shit on both of you guys. They're just they're a hurt person with the heart here. When they're bored because they're broken. They get their heart broken in relationships. They probably have a mommy that didn't love them. So it's like now they like to destroy relationships. That's what this is. That's who this motherfucker is. This punk. That's who he is. I don't like these types of people. Karen could, could mean something. This person, you could be Karen. This person could be connected to a Karen. Or this person is like a male version of the fucking Karen. Shut up, Karen. No disrespect to anybody named Karen. But you guys already knew that, right? Divorce. They could be divorcing a person named Karen.
tell me more. Or tell me something. Messing with your water? Did this person mess with your water? Are they doing this now? Or did they do this in the past? Starseed, I just saw. They messed with your water on repeat. This could just be as simple as somebody, if you live with them and you were in the shower, they flushed the toilet. This could literally be as, as um, serious, though, as somebody sticking something in your water. If you had one of those filtered water things where, like, it's in a pitcher or something, they could have stuck something in your water to make you sick. Tell me about this messing with your water or messed with your water. This is weird, but I made that card for a reason. King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or it's an older man, or they messed with yours. Tell me about this messing with your water. This is interesting. 1122. S. They could have messed with your water, Karen, or Karen did it. That could actually mean something for somebody with 1122 being here. S. P. Yes, you should leave him. Yes, you're absolutely right. So you could have left this person or somebody got left. I guess so too. And somebody's just bored and shit. It's like, no, nah, I don't want to take my kids to the movies. No, nah, I don't want to wash the cars. I don't want to cut the grass. I want to try and break people up. I want to try and smear people's names and, and ruin their reputation. This is somebody that, that deserves to be in a straitjacket. They deserve to be somewhere else. But I'm just going to, you know, let you guys figure that out. SPS. I feel like this person is an animal abuser. Sneak peek Saturday samples per second. What does it mean in law? Without issue. Let me make sure that this is actually SPS. I command the true spirit. Is this SPS? No. I command the truth, please. Is SP right? SP is right? I command the true spirit. Is SP. All right, let's do it again because I feel like they want to give me an answer for this, what the water thing. SP. How do you know who the dog is? Right. This part. That's, yeah. Well, they're comparing this, this person to a dog, but I would say, like, that's not even fair to dogs. SPE. Special purpose entity. Strategic planning and evaluation. Save planet Earth. <laughs> Hold on a second. That's you. So that's the Hierophant trap. That's the Hierophant energy with the sun with the world card. You came here, like I said, to save this world, to save this planet. And this motherfucker going to sit there and smear your name. I command the truth, please. I guess this is out. I command the truth, please. I'm sorry, hold on. What was the other one? Strategic planning. I command the truth, spirit. Is this the, what this was? Strategic planning? Did somebody put something in someone's water that they were drinking? I command the truth. Can you can you clear that for me, please? I command the truth, spirit. Was it poison? Did they put, like, poison in somebody's water? Murder. She just said, no wonder people get murdered. This person tried to kill you by putting poison in your water. They, were, they thought they were very strategic, but I'm guessing that it, it, on repeat, they did this consistently. You could have drank in this water and this person was shocked that you didn't get sick. That's why starseed was when I split the deck. You're a starseed. You're not, you're not the same type of being. These people don't want to admit it. Oh, well, they're going to wind up realizing it in a way that's going to drop their jaw and they're going to shit their pants because they're going to realize that you really are the being that you claimed yourself to be. And then they're going to realize, I fucked with the wrong one. A lot of these people already know that they fucked with the wrong one. But they're too prideful and they're going to put, see how it says trap? The same trap they set for you. So that trap could be, somebody could have actually drank water and got poisoned too. I command the truth, spirit. I command the truth, please. First off, is anybody listening next door? Can you tell me the truth? Are they listening right now while I'm doing the reading? Yeah. I just like to say that because then the undercovers will make their way uh, very strategically outside to see who comes out. Okay. I got it. Let me, let me text them real quick. Hold on a second. Let me just, let me do something real quick. 
Sorry, guys. Okay. All right. Trap. I command. I command the the truth, please. Did this person who put something in somebody's water was this like a trap? They wanted like did they fall into the same trap? I feel like this person possibly could have either drank the water and didn't realize it, or they in turn got poisoned by somebody else. Is this happening to you now that somebody's messing with your water? Hold on a second. Because this could be different for all of you. I came in a true spirit. Is somebody currently messing? No, this was in the past. Somebody was sticking something in your water to make you sick. Pussies. You know, pussies. All right, let's see. The same types of pussies that listen in and try to then All they do is hear you be great. Hmm? They got to listen to you be great. That's, that's, a, that's a bitch. That's a tough one. All right, let's see. Let's see what else. Sexuality, emotions, and passion. That's all. That's it. That's all this is. Sexuality, emotions, and passion. So that's what this person, I don't know, they could have been sticking something in your water to make you want to have sex with them. Please don't tell me that that's what this is. But that's all this person cares about is sex. That's it. There's no love. That heart shot. There's no heart. Nothing. That's it. Dirt. That little tiny dirt. That's it. Hold on a second. Let me see something. Sleep like champs and they love eating. That's all this person does. They have sex. They try to figure out a way to fuck people's lives over because they're not happy. They're miserable. They're broken. They're a broken person. And that, so that's all they do. They, they, they use women. They see them as, you know, bitch, come get it. Okay? Yeah, they're very dependent as well. They depend on women, but they can't stand women at the same time. Hmm? A pussy. Can you tell me the truth, please, spirit? I command the truth. Was this person sticking something in somebody's water to get them to want to have sex with them? It's like a spell or something. Can you clear that, please? So it wasn't something to make them sick. Okay, so this person was trying to put something in the water that you drank at some point to try to make you like them, and that just didn't work. Sexuality, emotions, and passion. I mean, I'm guessing it didn't work. And if you're a star seed, none of this spell work works on you. None of this fucking DIY, just add water abracadabra it doesn't work on a star seed scandal right this person was dependent on creating a scandal for you i think that they were either going to get some kind of payout or they thought it was going to get them somewhere bitch let me tell you something you try you pr try putting a chosen one in the middle of a scandal and you're going to see just how the scandal will come back to bite you in your ass tell me about this emotions and sexuality and this passion this person stuck something in somebody's water they wanted you to join this, this group, they could have possibly wanted you to join this, like, toxic-ass group, this society, this coven shit. Yeah, this male fucking coven with your punk-ass, closet-gay, fucking gang-stalking, weak-ass, no-working motherfuckers. Huh? That listen in on people, you motherfucking punks. <laughs> and door shut. Um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio again. This person could have literally had a wife and kid. And they wanted you to do this. They liked you and you didn't like them. I guess you didn't like them. So what happened was, I'll make you like me. I'm gonna make you love me. <laughs> Not even shit in the water could do it, right? This is one of those toxic ass dudes. Insecure. Seem like such a blur. Yeah, this person's always high, or they just, they, they don't, they sit, the mind that this person has is really dangerous and toxic. Let's, let's get some more messages. I'm going to ask my pendulum something real quick uh, on the deal. Okay, they decided to leave next door. They love sneaking in and out and listening. I don't even give a fuck. I mean, shit, you're going to have to listen to me be uh, gifted. I can sing, I can dance, I can read tarot, I can fucking do your roof, bitch. I can lay your floors. I can fix toilets, I can fix garbage disposals, breaks. What you need, huh? What can you do besides put your ear to the wall, punks? Huh? 4444, what can you do? What's on your resume? And what's in your wallet? The same on both, I'm guessing. Sink or swim. This is the world that we live in. Mixture. Look, mixture and what? Thank you, spirit guides. Mixture. So they stuck some kind of mixture in your water to try to get you to want them sexually. 
It was probably to do some kind of sex magic on you, but you didn't want them. You didn't like them. You're a star. Your ancestors are like, not this one. Are you kidding me? No way. Fast. You could have been fasting at the time. Sink or swim. Sink or swim. Fast. Sink fast or swim fast. That's what this is. And you decided to what? Swim and this person sinking fast. They can't get out of what they, they created. They can't get out of the chaos that they created for you. That's the trap. The same trap that they set for you is something somebody's in right now. You don't put shit in people's fucking water in their drinks, assholes. Huh? The other woman. They, they wanted you to be the other woman. Thank you so much, spirit guides. That's why I said I feel like this person had a wife and kids and a bitch on the side. They wanted you to be part of their harem garage. They wanted you. They thought they were big and bad. This is that, that dude that, that's with these other dudes that like to have bitches on the side, but then they like to bang each other because they're closet gay and they got a problem with their masculinity and they don't like women who are strong. And then once you stand up for yourself, now they come to attack you only to get bloop, just as flaccid on their face as that little head look at theirs. That's it. It's a Rizab. Whoever this ding-dong is that put shit in your fucking water in the past to try to get you to like them. I feel like all it did was make you despise this person. It's definitely a dude. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck. It, it was something to get you closer to this person. I feel like this was a friend of yours and you were this was a you were you were loyal to this person. You, you were super loyal to this person and they didn't want that. So you could have possibly just wanted to be friends with this person and they didn't want that. They felt rejected by you. So they, they what? Now what? So they felt rejected by this person. Woo, tower moment. Oh, yeah. Definitely. If this is a dude that's not healed and they don't take rejection well and, and you're just like, let's just be friends, you know, and they didn't like that and you made that clear, boom, tower moment. Someone exploded because of this, and they couldn't stand it anymore. So now what? Hmm? Yeah. this Because you probably knew, like, I cannot keep being friends with karmics like this. You probably realized if I keep being loyal to this person, I get karma. So you stopped. Yes. And then when you stopped talking to them, hanging with them, I feel like this person didn't want to believe it. They felt rejected. This is somebody that's really dangerously not healed, man. Yeah, you did that. You moved on and you closed out a cycle because you were probably guided to by your spirit guides. And this person's like, oh, don't you listen to your spirit team? Okay, buddy. All right, buddy. Well, we'll see. We'll see how that works. Uh, I love when I get messages from my dude in the middle of readings when he just tells me that he loves me because I tell you what, I know that he means it. He doesn't just say, he shows it more than he actually says it. They wanted you to be the other woman and you wouldn't do that, Divine Feminine, because you have more respect for yourself. These fucking broads, these pick-me broads that are getting with these dudes who ain't worth a half of a turd. They ain't worth half of a shit. They can't provide. They can't pay their own bills. They can't put a roof over their fucking head. They gang stalk. They slam doors and they I mean, it's the most unattractive thing ever. The most unattractive thing ever to a woman who actually is worth a shit. Now, for the pick-me chicks who aren't worth a shit, I guess that's why you guys just, you know, you fall in love for a couple days. But for us women who actually have respect and worth, these motherfuckers, that you don't, you don't stand a chance. You have to put something in our food or drink. The rudest things you can do. So this is probably my guide saying this is what one of the rudest things somebody could have done. It was a friend of yours. I feel like you're a female. This was a guy friend. They wanted to be more than friends with you. You weren't attracted to this person. They felt uh, ignored by you or they felt shut out by you. So they put something in the water to try to make you want to sleep with them. It's some kind of spell, something they did to the water. All right. Numb, emotionless. Yeah. Lack of empathy. So this person didn't really care what you were going through. You could have been going some, through something really difficult. You were probably going through the dark night of the soul. And this is when you started realizing about cutting cords and closing cycles and karma and trauma. And somebody was like, yeah, but I come before bride. Look, they, they possibly look, th this could be that motherfucker that married you without your consent, divine feminine snooping around the medicine cabinet this is that type of dude hold on a second i come in the true spirit a detective when they're in someone's house so there's a detective on this i come in the true spirit is you are you putting bride there did this person marry this divine feminine so they needed to make it look like you guys were sleeping together so they possibly were going to have you drink the water get you to sleep with them and then record it and then the wife came by yeah this dude has a wife 
His wife could have been in on this. Hold on a second. I, I command the true spirit. Was his wife, is this, this, this I command the true, was this dude married? Was this dude married? This Pisces that I'm picking up, were they married? They were married. Can you clear that, please? Things are the way they are for whatever reasons. I feel like you were just like, like, oh, you know, I just can't get down and I don't like you like that. I think you knew this person had a wife and kids and stuff. And it's like you actually, this person could not stand the fact that you respected yourself, Divine Feminine. This is one of those broken ass dudes because his mom didn't respect herself. The wife possibly didn't. Every broad this dude met at a bar probably, huh? Didn't respect herself and you did and he didn't know what to do with it. So what did he do? He tried to destroy you, only to destroy himself. I command the truth, please, spirit. So did this dude, is this the dude that married a feminine without their consent for life insurance money? That's why the numb is here, because there's no empath on the planet that would do this shit. So you didn't like them naturally? So they had to create something to make it seem like you guys were sleeping together. And they were probably going to use this as evidence or something to say, look, I mean, we even videotape ourselves having sex. Yo, I don't like this motherfucker at all. Tell me about this numb, this emotionless person. I guess this is the same person. Tell me about this emotionless, no empathy, no nothing. Yeah, it's just like money. That's it. Money on the mind. That pentacles. Pen money in my hand and money on my mind. Money under my feet. A cheap bastard. A cheap motherfucker. This person just holds on to people just for what they can get out of them. They wanted to hold on to you because you were loyal. They didn't want you going anywhere. But you saw past the illusion of this punk and you were like, I'm out. But they were like, don't leave me. You're the only loyal. They should have held on to you. I feel like they should have held on to you because they could probably use a friend right now. Hmm? Yeah, plotting on you in a home to breadcrumb you. I honestly think that this person was plotting on breaking in your home or doing something to you in a home where they were going to like torture you and like feed you or not feed you or break. I, this is what I'm getting from this. In your home, they were going to plot on you in your home. And now when I see this car for some reason, I feel like it's like, here, are you hungry? Or here's scraps. They wanted to disrespect you because they felt ignored. This is really a bad person. Like this person is like, let's get letters on this and then I'm going to, I'm going to get out of here. <sighs> Tell me about this person that was going to do this, that was going to go into someone's home or have them in a home. Maybe that's why basement came out in the other reading. This could be somebody that was going to keep you in a basement or something and like torture you or, or treat you like some kind of slave. Hold on a second. Man, fucking slaves around here. We're royalty, bitches. Get used to it. Slaves. You were our slaves probably back in the day. Our, oh, you were, you were definitely our servants. No doubt. These people that are coming for you guys and don't realize you have royal bloodline, what it's going to really fuck with their with their soul like ether is when they find out and they have no choice but to admit and just submit is the fact that you were a loyal person and a royal person and that they were your fucking servants in a past life. They scrubbed your floors. E. They love listening. E. E. I. Concern. Yeah, I'll say E-I-M. Message of concern. No doubt. E-I-M. Enterprise incident management. Hold on. Where's... Hold on. Sorry, guys. You got that dead corpse playing. You got to hide. So this person could have something to do or somebody you're connected to hid a, a dead body. <sighs> you guys, admit. Concern and admit. So maybe this person or whoever's around this person, like maybe they're being forced to admit that this there's something concerning about this person. Like these people need to be concerned about being around this person if they're still free. I don't feel like they're going to be free for long. Hold on a second. I'll say concern. Maybe you have, maybe you're admitting like, yeah, there's definitely was a, there's something here where it's, it's inevitable that there's a concern when it comes to this person's mental well-being or lack of well-being. Female to male, trans. With questionable morals like moral, oral. 
Is this person... Hold on a second. I don't know what's up here. This is like freaking me out. I command the true spirit with this one. Is this what this is? A trans person? Did they get with a trans person? Ah, oh, no. Did this person have an option to either partner up with you and have like an ascension or like a rebirth? Or they held on? They could have held on. They should have held on to you even as a friend. Because I feel like whoever they had in their life. They were a trans person. Female to male. Female to male. This person could like both too. Death. Scorpio. There's a Scorpio who could have been with a... Uh... Oh, God. I mean, somebody literally could have had something to do with the death of a trans woman or man. Yeah, I feel like it's a death. This person was married. Scorpio. There's a Scorpio who feels betrayed. This Scorpio was possibly married to this Pisces, and I feel like she feels betrayed because of, of all... She's probably finding out about all of their indiscretions, all the cheating... This Scorpio could be finding out what they did to you, what they attempted to do to you with the water thing. They, they feel betrayed because they had a family with this person. They were married to this to this this dude, and this dude could have possibly with the male with the male female to male. I feel like what they're saying is that this dude went both ways. Yeah, they went both ways. Memories of love. So she could be thinking about the time where like things were actually good with this person, but not anymore. What is this? Oh, sacral sexuality. She's probably thinking about the kind of sex that she had with this person. Whoever this Scorpio is, I feel like this person was married to this dude. And she's probably sitting there thinking, yeah, he is a little weird sexually. Like, or he was forceful. Or he did seem like he liked bondage or something. Somebody, I feel like somebody's being forced to admit that there, was, there were like concerning moments with this husband. Somebody's sitting there thinking back and going, yeah, like he liked to tie me up or the way he spoke to me, like something was concerning about the way that we had sex. I have to, I have to confirm this. I command the truth, please, spirit. I command the truth, please, spirit. Is the, is this Scorpio the wife of this person? Is she the wife? Can you clear that, please? I command the truth, please. Is she thinking back to how rough the sex was with this person, that there was something concerning about this? That's what I feel like, man. I do. So I think that they're, this person with this numb, emotionless, I feel like somebody's realizing that they married like a fucking serial killer type of energy or like a thief, a con, a uh, Dahmer, a uh, Manson, all wrapped into one. Yay! Yo, be glad that that shit that you drank, whoever this is for, that whatever you drank that they wanted to bring you into this harem garage thing and probably do like ritualistic sex with you or they probably with the Ten of Cups wanted you to have some kind of orgy shit. It's really dark and gross. But you had self-worth, Divine Feminine. And they didn't like that. And they couldn't just take the no for an answer with you because this is somebody that was broken because of they have... um abandonment issues big time i feel like they were abandoned by their mom possibly their dad but definitely women let this person down in their life they took it out on you they took it out on a lot of women but you're the one that wouldn't allow it divine feminine you're the one that brought this motherfucker wherever he's at whether he's breathing still jail uh, a mental like asylum possibly literally but definitely like a mental prison wherever this person's at it's not good i'll bet because not if they tried to do this to a divine being you were this person's lesson. Stop taking out the problems you have on your mommy, on other women. Go to the woman who's the problem and handle that shit in whatever way you feel like it. But stop fucking trying to put other women on the hook, you toxic ass unhealed motherfucking dudes. Stop trying to put other women on the hook that have nothing to do with the disappointment between you and your mother or you and your ex-wife or you and your stepmother or whoever the fuck it is that this woman that that put you in such a woe is me type of energy where you feel like you got to beat on women and verbally abuse women and smear their names and set them up. This is what we got to say to that. You come for this one, you're going to get dealt with. I promise you, every fucking one of you, we're not going nowhere. I love you. Philly out.